Hey guys and girls, hope everybody's having a great day today. I know I am. I'm uh, down here looking behind the windshield. And this is not an official episode of Woods, Water, and Windshields. So it's been a while since we've had uh, any of those official episodes of that. And uh, we might try to do one before this day's over because we got a lot of windshield time in front of us. But, you know, uh, we did a video here a while back called The Raw Truth About COVID. And, um, and uh, we... We're just talking about actually Chris and I taking our first COVID shots and we had a lot of uh, interest in that obviously because that's been a big deal that's gripped the America, gripped the world during the last year or basically basically coming on a year. It was about March 15th where that thing really got to be a big deal last year and the country and the whole world went on a panic. And uh, But uh, we just wanted to really give uh, share the experience of Chris and I taking our first COVID shot, and um, and we, uh, we we we've done that. Both of us had both our shots right now. In addition to that, some other members in my family have had their COVID shots. And all we want to do is just share with you what it was like to go get a, a COVID vaccine shot, and whether there was any reactions to it, or we had any side effects, or grew horns, or anything. And there's times when I thought uh, Chris grew horns anyway. <laughs> Don't you tell her I said that. <laughs> she definitely knows that I grew horns a few times in my lifetime, but or we had any real bad side effects. And uh, a lot of people have jumped on, well, not a lot, but a few people have jumped on here on YouTube channel and Facebook. And by the way, if you're not subscribed to Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. You will not regret it. Uh, give us a couple, two or three weeks and see the videos we post. We post over 500 videos a year on this channel. We have another channel called Catch of the Day, which will absolutely change your life. I just guarantee you it'll change your life. It's a, a show, We post a video every day at five o'clock in the morning and that channel will change your life. Don't know what kind of circumstances you're going through right now, good, bad, or indifferent, but if you subscribe to the Catch of the Day YouTube channel, and remember, YouTube is 100% free. Uh, most all the televisions you have nowadays, by big screen TV, little screen TV, middle screen TV, you can. Uh, it's got a YouTube app on it, and you can watch it right on your television. Uh, probably some of the best things that you'll ever see on television these days, other than Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing Show, <laughs> is some of the stuff you're going to see right here on YouTube, and a lot of it's on our channel. But uh, but uh, I, we had so many comments about the COVID shot, both on Facebook, and we've got over half a million people on Facebook, about 90,000 on our YouTube channel. Um, but a lot of the comments, or some of the comments, was uh, very, very negative about the vaccine, and people telling me that I should not be out here promoting a COVID vaccine 19 shot because I'm not a doctor and I don't know anything about it. and. Um, I, that's true. I'm not a doctor. I don't know anything about it. Um, and I'm surprised at how many COVID experts that we have on uh, on YouTube. It's amazing. It's kind of like deer nutrition experts. There are just literally thousands out there that evidently have great degrees in biology on deer nutrition. It's just amazing to me how much people know about it. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, our deer are all fat and healthy in good shape right now. I, like, Lucy didn't know I came home last night at midnight and got up and left at 5 o'clock this morning. She was asleep in the yard and didn't see me, so she probably thinks I got killed by hunters. But, uh, <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, we're not promoting the COVID vaccine shot. All I wanted to do is share with my friends on YouTube and Facebook what it was like to get a COVID-19 shot. And, uh, but we've been asked about the update because a lot of you have realized that three weeks have gone by and, and we've had uh, second shots. And so I'll just give you some uh, I, uh, what happened in my family. Uh, and my, my daughter, uh, Sherry, has had her first shot. She had absolutely no side effects. Uh, Richard, which is my other son, uh, Jamie is, uh, Jamie's, uh, you know, is my son, but Richard is, is the kid's cousin, and we've actually raised Richard since he was three weeks old. He's a, a year younger than Sherry, and he's run our, our, our uh, Jimmy Houston Outdoor Store there on Lake Tenkiller, sporting goods store, grocery store, gas station. He's run all that forever, does an incredible job. Gets up at four o'clock in the morning, goes down and opens that thing early, he opens it seven days a week. He's there working himself on the holidays like Christmas and Easter and Thanksgiving, uh, making sure all the people in our community can come over there and get their groceries and fishing tackle, gasoline, even on a holiday when a lot of the other places around are closed. And he comes up there and does that. He may not be open all day and he may not open at five o'clock or six o'clock in the morning, but, but he gets up there so 
the local people around Lake Ted Killer can come up and shop, and we just got a great following there, and we appreciate that. Uh, but Richard has had his first shot. He had absolutely no side effects whatsoever. Everything went perfectly with him. Uh, Chris's aunt, Aunt Lou, uh, which is her mama's sister, and you know we we lost Chris's mama. Uh, I, I guess it's you know been uh, almost two years ago now, and Chris is going to tell me I'm probably wrong, but it, time goes by so quickly. But um, but her mother, her her aunt, Aunt Lou, is uh, 83 years old. 83 years old, and uh, she's a caregiver. She's a nurse, and she still works. Still drives about. Uh, 25 30 miles one way to work every single day and uh she doesn't work every single day but six days a week usually and some days seven days a week and uh, still a nurse working at age 83 she doesn't need the money she just likes uh, taking care of people and making sick people well obviously she's had her covid shot she's had both and she had absolutely no side effects whatsoever i went over last week my second covid shot was canceled i was scheduled to get that shot we had a big ice storm come through, and uh, we did not uh, get to take that shot. I was scheduled to take my second COVID shot the following Wednesday. Uh, that's when the big snowstorm, that's when it came through and our water froze up and was frozen for a solid weeks, Sunday through Sunday, we didn't have any water. We have water now, we have water now. I took a shower this morning at five o'clock and hit the road, but um, uh, it was great to get, uh, you know, I got home about midnight last night, and I jumped into the jacuzzi, Chris had me a really hot bath, and, oh, it felt so good to get in there, oh, I love that, I love that, that's one of the greatest, uh, greatest uh, benefits of life is having a jacuzzi, I promise you, and, and Sherry and her husband, Jack, bought us a, a sauna, a hot tub for Christmas, and we don't have that thing completely installed yet, we're putting it on our deck, and uh, we'll, we'll probably shoot some videos about that, because that's exciting, we never had one all of our life. They've got one at their house and they just love it. They thought we'd love one. So, so Jack bought me one, Jack and Sherry, <coughs> excuse me, Jack and Sherry bought us one for Christmas. I'm so excited to get that, get that sauna, get that hot tub in there. They bought us a really nice one. I'm telling you, it's nice. But, um, but Jack, uh, uh, Jack, uh, Cassass, who's, uh, Sherry's husband, he's a cardiologist. And so he was able to, uh, get his shot a little ahead of time uh, because he does several heart operations every day and has been exposed to, to COVID a lot. And he has had both of his shots. So Chris and her, uh, uh, Chris's aunt and uh, me, I, I finally got my second shot this past week. And I got to, first of all, before I tell you about the results of all those shots is uh, I just got to hand it to the state of Oklahoma. We've done a remarkable job here. I think we're up to like 700,000 people in Oklahoma now have had their shot. And uh, they're down to, I think, working at age 50 or 55 and above or is eligible for the shot. Uh, and it's just, uh, Chris had hers done by the Cherokee Nation. She's Cherokee Indian. And, and it was just, she said it was smooth as silk. It just went through there. It was there for just a very few minutes. Uh, my first shot, uh, we've done over in Durant, Oklahoma. I had to drive about 80 miles over there, but the first shot was, it really went well once I got inside the building. They had to stay out in our cars. It wasn't cold. They had to stay out in our, our vehicles until our, our number, our color came up. They gave me a, a purple placard. When that purple came up, I got to go inside the building. Once I was inside the building, it went very, very fast. I wasn't in there over 30 or 40 minutes. Filling out the papers, getting the shot, waiting 15 minutes after I got the shot to see if you had any reaction, which I did not. And uh, then I left, and, and, and finally, uh, I was in about my, I missed my fourth week, missed my fifth week, uh, so I got my shot. I guess it was almost a full six weeks, or close to it, when I got my second shot. Um, I have had no reactions whatsoever. The only reaction that Chris had was her left shoulder, where she got her shot, was a little bit sore the next day. She raised it up, and she could feel it. I had to reach over and, and pat real hard. I can I can right now, I can't, no, I can't find that spot. I was gonna say I can find that spot, but I can't. I can't find the spot. I, I, my, I never had any pain at all. My first shot or my second shot, all of it went 100% cool. And uh, and the people were so good and, and so nice and so, uh, just so sweet to everybody, it was amazing. And, and we had people in there that was in wheelchairs. We had people that could barely walk, people that were overweight. Uh, all kinds of thing, you know, I'm in there with the group 65 and older, so there was a lot of them, a lot older than me getting their shot. And, uh, and, and our caregivers here in Oklahoma are just so fantastic. And, and it's been that way all over the state. I've heard hundreds and hundreds of reports just exactly like that. And can I tell you, that with those 700,000 people who've got shots here in Oklahoma, and we're giving people thousands of shots every day right now, 
uh, uh, our COVID numbers have gone down dramatically. Uh, we're down to, we're having like 2,500, 3,000 people in the hospital. We're down below 1,000. As a matter of fact, I think uh, the last I looked, and I've been gone fishing in Texas for about two, three days. Um, the last I looked, you saw they were down around below 800. So only about 700 people in the hospital. Uh, the new cases a day were was about uh, seven or eight hundred a day, and that was up over three thousand for a considerable period of time. So it appears that the two things that are working, the shots just seem to be working, and then secondly, uh, obviously a lot of people have had COVID, and, and uh, they don't know if you can catch it again, but most people have not. Very few people have, so you're pretty well protected. It appears. I notice also the national numbers are starting to go down, also. Uh, less people are getting COVID. Uh, less people are hospitalized, and uh, and that's that's you know that's good. I do have friends that are in the hospital right now. I got a friend of mine up in Ohio, and his wife was put on a ventilator just yesterday. I talked to him about 12:30 or 1 o'clock last night, and uh, was put on a ventilator, and uh, she's receiving 100% oxygen, but now it's down to 70%. So that's getting better, and she's got pneumonia also, which is a problem with that, but. Um, but the numbers seem to be going down everywhere, so it appears it appears that the vaccine is really helping uh, stem this pandemic. Plus, a lot of people have had it, and so they have the antibodies in their body, and and uh, and they probably can't give it to anybody. Well, they can't give it to anybody, and they won't probably won't catch it again. It'd be very rare if they do. So all of that seems to be all of that seems to be working. Now, the one negative in all of the shots that we've had that uh, that Sherry and her husband Jack. Uh, Richard, Lou, Chris, and I. So there's six of us in our family. My son, Jamie, by the way, who is the youngest of the bunch, obviously. My son, Jamie, my son, Jamie, did decide that, uh, did decide that him and Mandy are going to wait just a little while. Of course, he really, yeah, he can get one right now because he's a first responder and he also works for the fire department. He's a volunteer fireman. He runs our Jimmy Houston Marine and Kawasaki, he runs that dealership, and so he's got a full-time job, but he volunteers, he's a paramedic, he volunteers as a first responder, he also volunteers as a volunteer fireman, and so for, because of that, he could get his shot, Mandy could not, his wife, but uh, they have decided they're going to wait just a little bit longer and, and kind of see how everybody gets along, and so far everybody in his family, uh, the ones I just mentioned, everything's gone fine. The one negative that we had was uh, Sherry's husband, Jack, like I mentioned, he's a doctor, he's a cardiologist, and uh, and his second shot gave him some problems. He had some side effects, his first shot was fine, no problem whatsoever, and the main problem they had, it, it, it kind of made him uh, nauseated a little bit, I think, but it, it got run down. He slept a little bit longer, he normally doesn't sleep that much, he works extremely long hours in the hospital every day about seven o'clock in the morning and, and is on call. The doctors are on call, particularly people that have heart attacks, and emergency deals you know pretty much all the time now he's not officially on call 24 7 but in reality is watching he probably is and uh he saved a lot of people's lives uh, in his lifetime thousands of lives i'm sure that he's saved uh, with the work that he does so but anyway when he got his second shot uh he, he had a lot of fatigue from it uh he would uh, lay down and go to sleep way earlier in the evening he normally does and have a harder time getting up early in the morning but the big deal, the thing that really bugged him about as much as any was, uh, other than the fatigue that he had for a few days, I think like three or four days, is migraine headaches. It gave him, he, he, and he doesn't have migraine headaches, but he, but he has, he started having migraine headaches and he had it for two or three or four days. It was uh, really a pretty severe thing. And uh, he actually, you know, uh, uh, talked to other doctors about it so that were friends of his to, to try to solve that problem. But that is the only side effect of the, uh, whatever that is, uh, six of us, I guess, in our family that have had the shot right now. That was the only side effect. And, and again, like I mentioned, those of you that have been sending me letters and hate mail about, you know, I should not be promoting this vaccine sh shot because it, you know, fetal comes from fetal tissues and it's the mark of the devil and they're checking your DNA and they're, they're actually, everybody gets a shot, it's going to die a year from now. And I'm sure that uh, a lot of people have learned all of that on their Bible, which is called the internet. And um, if people would just read and believe the Bible the way they read and believe the internet, oh, what a world we would live in and what great people we would have uh, walking up and down the streets and working with us. And we'd have great husbands and great wives. If they would just read the Bible and believe what's in it and live by it, oh man, it just, it'd blow people away. 
But, uh, but the, you know, people have become like researching. They call it, I research it, I research it. And, uh, you know, we, we don't believe anything we hear on the news anymore, obviously. It's uh, pretty much all fake news. Uh, and uh, it's agenda driven and whatever their agenda is, that's what they tell us and they, they hope that we believe it. And a lot of people do, honestly. <clears throat> I grew up believing what was on the news because what they told you was true. And they didn't care if it made the president look good or look bad or made the congressman look good or look bad or made the Baptist look good or look bad. They just told you the truth of what happened. And uh, obviously it's not that way anymore. They've all got an agenda and it doesn't really matter what network you're watching or what news shows you're watching. They're telling you what they want you to believe, and most of the time it's just an outright, flat out lie. It's a lie. That's all it is, a lie. And there's obviously lots of lies on the internet because anybody can get on there and print anything they want. And uh, unless you're unless you're going against what the internet people believe, Google and, and Facebook and all of those, uh, you can pretty much say and, and get away with anything and tell any lie you want. It's, it's cool. They, they don't. Anybody seem to mind. But um, but you know. Um, even if even if the vaccine is created from fetal tissues, uh, I'm not sure that that would have saved one unborn baby's life uh, otherwise. Uh, and we obviously live in a country now that uh, has elected, if it actually was a fair election, which most people believe it was not, on both sides believe it was not. Uh, if it was a f fair election, we've elected a president that is the most pro-abortion president that we've ever had. And, uh, and we are, uh, you know, uh, we are killing millions of babies every year that are unborn. And, and, uh, and if that's where it's coming from, that's where it's coming from. I don't know. But, uh, and I don't think that they can alter DNA. I think that'd be a, a great, if they could alter DNA, that would be something that was, um, you know, uh, a lot of people would like to learn how to do that. that. That's a real saleable commodity if you can do that because DNA can trace you back for generations and trace all kinds of things and so but I, I don't know about all that but I do know that the, the facts and figures here in Oklahoma and around the nation are proving that the vaccine at least right now is stopping a lot of people from getting COVID and let me tell you one real quick story and I'll end this right here because I didn't intend for it to run this long but a lot of you have asked about it and so I thought that uh, I thought that I would go ahead and, and and give you tell you what happened after we had our second COVID shots and and like I said, four of us in our family, uh, out of the uh, six people that's had a shot, uh, four of us have, have had our second shot, and basically everything's been fine with the exception of uh, Dr. Jack uh, that had to, had those headaches. But Chris was visiting with one of the Bassing gals, one of our friends from Bassing gal, and uh, they have had their they have had their first shot. They did not have their second shot, and they basically hadn't been anywhere for a year. They just been staying home. Uh, her husband uh, had a real real bad. Uh, uh, sickness uh, in the last year or so and was in the hospital se several days and was very very fortunate to come out alive didn't have anything to do with COVID but very fortunate to come out alive but they're about our age it might be a, a year or two younger but about our age and um, and so they pretty much have locked themselves up and hadn't seen any of their family or anything for a year uh, and uh, they decided to go back down around the Houston area here just the other day for a family get together, and uh, and because the whole family hadn't seen each other in pretty much a year, and particularly the ones you know like her husband that had the medical condition anyway, and just didn't want to take a chance of catching COVID, but they had to have their first shot, so they thought they would go. There was 11 people there, and they all, uh, you know, I don't know if they stayed for a couple of days or one day outing or whatever. But uh, they all were eating dinner and, and together and, and visiting together and just having a great time with families that they hadn't been seeing for, you know, basically a year, basically a year. And uh, wouldn't you know that of the 11, only four did not catch COVID. Seven of the 11 had COVID. One individual came, uh, showed up that, that had COVID and I guess did not know it. And, uh, but the two that, two of the four that did not catch it was, uh, and I won't, you won't mention her name, but a, a really good friend of ours and, and her husband, and she was a terrific fisherman too, by the way, and still is, I'm sure. But, uh, but uh, they were two of the four that did not catch COVID. So, and she told Chris, I, and we've had one shot, so evidently that shot worked. And I think your first shot, they tell you you're about 75%. But uh, it's a peace of mind thing too. It's like when Dr. Jack ordered all my heart uh, tests and everything, and I hadn't had a, anything done on my heart 15, 20 years, and he had to check it. 
I felt better when uh, when, when they sent that information to Jack, and Jack said, "Jimmy, your heart's fine, man. You, you're good. You don't you don't have any blockage or anything. You're fine." And uh, they finally talked me into taking a colonoscopy this year, and I didn't. I've never had one of those, and finally did that. And they said, "Man, you're you're, you're clean. <laughs> you're good." And uh, and that it's a peace of mind, and I think that's one of the greatest things that, other than the protection, is a peace of mind that uh, probably we're we're safe from that that uh, coronavirus, and we we're, uh, we're safe from the rona right now, and that is good. So, but I'm not promoting the vaccine. I'm not saying you should take it or should not take it. Uh, but I'm just giving you the facts of what happened. And with our family, uh, with six of us, so far it's been a very, very pleasant experience, not only getting the shot, but, uh, but, but what's happened after the shot. There's been no side effects so far. And, uh, and if I grow horns six months from now, um, you know, I'll take a picture of it and show you. Uh, if I die a year from now, this thing's all designed to kill whoever takes it a year from now. It'll surprise me because I plan on living to be 95 years old. So that'll be a surprise. If you hear that I've died, you say, boy, Jimmy, you're surprised about that. But when I die, I close my eyes for the last time here in this life. When I open my eyes, I'm going to be looking into the eyes of Jesus. I'm very positive about that. So I'm not really too worried about that. I'm ready to go whenever God's ready for me to go. Uh, if he'll let me know ahead of time, a day or two, I'm going to try to talk him into giving me 15 more years like he did King Hezekiah. But anyway, guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. I just thought I'd catch you up on the Rona uh, shot, the Rona shot, coronavirus shot. And uh, in our family, so far, it's been a rip-roaring success. Y'all go out there and have you a great day today. Keep your smile on. And keep your positive attitude on and just make sure that not only you have a great day, but you say something or you smile at somebody or you let somebody else out there have a great day as well. I'm getting ready to drive through Tulsa, Oklahoma. Do not want to be talking, want to be paying really good attention. Later, guys and girls. I sure do love you.